In just the first few weeks of 2019, three people have died in the province's backcountry. Avalanche Canada says the deaths are not out of the ordinary. The average about 12 deaths a year. It, it's pretty common for us to see fatalities at this time of year, unfortunately. I think last year in the first few weeks of the season from late December to the end of January, we had four. And, and here we're looking at three in a period of two weeks. Sad for sure. And, and uh, you know, any fatality is a tragedy. On January 3rd, a 42-year-old man died in an avalanche after he was skiing near Pebble Creek. Well, the, the Pemberton accident was related to storm, snow instability, so it was, you know, heavy weather, lots of snow, lots of wind, lots of warm temperatures, and those are classic recipes for avalanche conditions. When you have stormy conditions like that and the snow is piling up rapidly and the wind is blowing, those are times when avalanches are pretty common in the upper levels of the snowpack. A Calgary man and his 24-year-old son were killed after they were caught in an avalanche while snowmobiling near Invermere on Saturday. So in Invermere, it's a pretty different situation. Uh, the, the snowpack is very, very different in the Purcells than it is in the Coast Mountains. The layers that are causing the problems in Purcells are very different from what we saw in the South Coast Mountains. Those layers formed in October. They're what we call a facet or a depth or layer. So those are really large sugary grains that don't bond very well to each other. The deaths are concerning for Avalanche Canada and they hope people are making informed decisions before heading to the mountains. And that they're using information that we provide to help them make informed decisions about what kind of level of risk they're willing to take. We're just trying to learn from these accidents so that we can try and do better in the future. It's really impossible to guarantee 100% safety when you go into the mountains into an uncontrolled uh, environment. I mean, even when you do everything right, you can still have something unexpected happen. While the danger rating has dropped across the province, there's one area that is still causing concern for avalanche forecasters. In the Purcells is the place right now that's my, I think it's the place in the province to be very careful right now. Anyone headed to the mountains is being advised to check avalanche.ca before heading out. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna.